Hello Pickles and welcome to another episode on Evermore and we are busy 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 so first of all I've got a couple of deliveries to make first up Paisley and this is his base here wow I like the use of uh, bamboo here didn't realize you could plant it on gravel either cool cool done a really good job of his base here so Paisley's a really good builder just gonna have a quick look around his base as well while we're here we might as well have a little little tour aren't we so have a look have a goosey really nice here, he's got everything he needs, I'm not going to look in his chests, that would be rude. And wow, look at this. So I've watched his last episode where he landscaped this and he did a pretty good job. Well, he did a very good job. So he's landscaped all of this, he took all the trees down and then planted all of these custom trees everywhere. And I must say he's done a very good job, it looks really good with the shaders on. I love the use of the vines here. And all the little rocks just to make the landscaping look a bit more natural. Then a good job. So we'll drop what we need to drop off, which you'll see in a minute. When we get back to his house. But yeah, so check out Paisley. Check out his uh, YouTube channel. He's a really good uh, builder, really good YouTuber. His episodes are amazing. He does time lapse episodes, so you can just sit sit back, relax, with a cup of coffee, and just watch watch him build basically. And that's what this is what he does. He just builds excellent things. So. Go check him out. That's not a post box. Right, so we will put something. I'll put it back down where the portal is, I think. Uh, back down here. But yeah, the use of the bamboo, like, just to add a bit of colour, it's like brilliant. So, I think we'll put it at the end of the bed here. Actually, no. I've got two chests because we've got two deliveries to make. And we are going to put in. There it is, the ferns. Yep. Yeah. So. I messaged them on Discord and they said they wanted ferns, so I thought I'd give them a little treat. And they can have three stacks of ferns each. So there's three there. Resi from the. Oh, messing this up. Pickle. So that's one one delivery done. On to the next one. And here we are, delivery number two. I mean, what an entrance, eh? You come out here, waterfall. Boats, I don't think we're going to need the boats, though. And we can still walk across here, look, it's all half slabs, so that's really cool. We come around here, this is going to be awesome, guys. Ready? Look at that. Like, I saw this being built, and I was just totally impressed. And look at the throat as well. This is new, I haven't seen this. Look at that though, this looks like you're going into the mouth of the panther. So this is Meg Ray's base, and again, check her channel out, like, another awesome builder, like, slightly nervous playing on a server with these guys. But yeah, check it out though, these pillars, the blue flower, oh, it's just like, for a jungle base. I mean, I'm going to have to have a go at trying to build that, just in a creative world, it's like, Awesome. Anyway, we will leave this right in the mouth of the panther, I think. I just love the, using the polished blackstone and the blackstone just to add like the texture and detail and variation. Like, see, I would have used uh, quartz for this, but it wouldn't have worked. You'd been too bright. Right. Like, use of the uh, diorite. Brilliant. Right, so we'll place our next box here, I think. Um, but our where's our ferns? There they are. We're we'll doing number three, and then that leaves us with a stack and a bit left for ourselves. So that's cool. Here we go. Nope, I need to put a sign on there, don't I? And. Where's he from the pickle? And there we go. That's our two deliveries done. Check out the two content creators though. Check out Meg Ray and Paisley because I'm telling you, it's well worth it. I think you'll sub straight away. So there we go. Delivery is all done, all done. So what are we going to do today? So we are going to do a bit of terraforming uh, behind, well, behind you in front of me. 
and we're just gonna yeah we're gonna do a build so we're gonna try and get a blacksmith in so we can get uh some more villagers into their accommodation should i say so we can get some more villagers in yes yeah, so we can do some trading uh, i want to get some stonemasons in there and some blacksmiths so we can trade the iron and yeah so let's get underway and get the terraforming done oh actually before we do that i'd just like to say thank you to my subscribers for subscribing really thank you for hitting that subscribe button and yeah you make all the difference so let's jump to a time lapse where you go i go to and if you hit the bottom i'm going down with you let's take it slow who cares where we gotta be you know you'll have a good time wherever you're with me let's take it Take it slow, where you go I go to And if you hit the bottom I'm going down with you Let's take it slow, who cares where we gotta be You know you'll have a good time wherever you're with me Let's take it
turn it in my mind Makes me thin, it makes me thin, I ain't nobody perfect The blacksmith's done and <laughs> boy oh boy that take a lot of resources and a fair fair while but so worth it look at it so beautiful anyway if you'd like to see the whole time lapse because obviously i gave you a shorter version because we want to get this episode kind of filled up with other stuff as well if you want to see the whole time lapse after this episode a couple of days later the full time lapse of this uh blacksmith's will be released so yeah hit the sub button and you'll get that in your subs in your subscriptions and you'll be able to see the whole thing and hopefully you enjoy it so anyway enough of the plug we have to go through all of these chests these were organized as i was filling them up ready to do the build but look at them all oh, that's the dirt that we've done from the terraforming and that terraforming took forever but i do i'm so worth doing it though i mean i couldn't have just cut a square out to put this in so at least we've now got this nice like terraform stuff. It needs to have, like custom trees and stuff added to it later. So it's just basic terraforming to start with. We will add detail. Um, what else are we going to do? We're going to I'll take you around the uh, blacksmiths as well. But yeah, so we've got all this stuff that we need to clear away. Uh, and obviously the beacon came in handy. I nicked one of the beacons from over there. We are going to have to get some more. I still haven't got that fifth one, have I? Uh, but that will be a future episode. We need to do a path in here just to get down to here and we're gonna to have to work out where that's gonna go i was thinking of doing like a path along here and some rocks around here to kind of separate this upper bit with the lower bit and we could have a little staircase going down there and i've got some ideas for all around here as well so that's all cool uh back to the blacksmiths though i keep getting distracted by everything else around me um in here so this would be like the main entrance to the housing bit of the blacksmiths but we're going to do slightly different things with this uh we're not going to have it as a house and a blacksmith in here i was thinking of putting the stonemasons because we're going to want a lot of quartz for our main pro product product project our main project for this season and that is obviously the Asim wonderland future build so <laughs> that's something completely opposite to what we're doing at the moment but I am still planning to do it. And do I have any torch left? No, I don't. I need to put one here, I think. So, yeah, in here, storage, uh, creeper spawn, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. It's a bit dark in there, so we need to add some light into that. And then, obviously, these are your tunnels. And, again, another creeper spawning area. I've got to be careful with this. We need to add more light. Uh, through here, we'll go. We've got the lights through here. Uh, these are a good addition, I thought, these lamps on the outside. Um, but in here, yeah, all the stain masons are going to go in here. So we can get all that quartz, like I was saying, so we could do that build in the end. Um, and it won't be at the end, hopefully. And then in here, we're going to have the blacksmiths. So that's to trade all the iron with and to get some gear. And hopefully there's some good enchanted gear with that. Um, or at least something good enough that we can start making some decent enchantments. And up here, we will probably have a lot of storage. I was initially thinking of putting the villagers upstairs up here. But I don't think there's enough headroom, really. They might fit in here, but... Then you've got to come out here. We won't be able to walk along or anything, so you won't be able to fit enough in. But we can whack a load of chests in here, um, and that would be good storage for the future. We can put like all our quartz blocks and terracotta blocks and everything like that. Because I wouldn't mind with the stonemasons getting at least a good variety of terracotta with them as well. And in here, we're going to bung a load of chests in here as well, I think. So we can have bulk storage in here, um, which will means we can expand our storage from in there because we are... We are slowly getting too full uh, for our little attic space up in the roof there. So we're going to take over another attic. So yeah, that uh, seems to be the theme of this season, um, attic storage. So what we need to do next in this episode is get a load of villagers bred up and we need to ship them over here. So it's quite far from the breeder, especially since they breed now at the other end of the building, since I moved the door to this end and the villagers to the other end.
Okay, so we need to try and get these guys to start breeding again, since they're at maximum capacity with the five uh, villages in here, which match the five beds that you can just about see in there. And then we need to try and find a way of getting them out of here without falling into there. So, what are we going to do? We need to grab ourselves a bit of dirt to start with, I think. And quickly, I'll just show you this over here. I don't know if I've shown you this before. Um, I put this in off camera, and we've got a fox in there who has killed all my chickens. Fantastic, Mr. Fox. Anyway, we've got a load of eggs in here. I did have a load of chickens in here. Um, clearly, I don't anymore. Yeah. So I had a load of chickens here filling up a chest full of eggs because we need this for something that we're going to be doing in the next episode. Um, so off camera I'm going to have to fill this up with chickens again. But yeah, literally all I had was a load of chickens in here. I'm going to put a trapdoor on it next time I think just to keep them safe and turn it into a little coop. Um, and they were just spitting every time they laid eggs it went into a chest. And you'll find out what that's for later. Okay, so cheers Foxy. Right, so for the time being, while I'm waiting for that to carry on breeding up and hopefully it's working, I've done a bit of a crude method over there, I'll show you in a minute. Um, this is where we want to get them to for now, so I'll keep, just to keep them away from over there really, and to get them over here ready, um, I've built this, another little crude item, that's our little holding pen. So the idea is that we take them over by boat, and all we have to do is we can get under here, so without suffocation, we're getting here, break the boat, Villager cut pops out and he's stuck in here and we can... Oh, we haven't got a double jump now, have we? We can get out, which we can't. So what I'll do is I'll put a um, carpet on there and we should be able to get out. So that'd be good. Uh, or we could put another... No, no, no. Carpet. So here's our villager cage. So yeah, properly trap them in there. And as you can see there, I've got uh, two blocks of glass, which means they can't get back in, but the baby villagers should come up through and pop out the top and then get washed out into here. And then that's where they stay. Uh, they're breeding again. Cool. That was good timing. Thank you, guys. Uh, obviously knew that I started recording. And we're just going to watch them then and see if this contraption works. So they were breeding. There's a baby, there's a baby, he's looking at him, so there must be one there. Um, there he goes, he falls down. And hopefully he'll come out the top here. Here he comes, up, 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 and... Well, he's not going back in again, is he? Uh, what we might need to do then is just tweak this slightly, shall we? If we take, for now, we'll take that block off there. Right, okay. So what we could do is put a half slab there, just to stop, keep the decoration kind of thing. And now we need to do is get them in the boats. So that's working. And here we have our makeshift funneler. Yes, so hopefully this works. It's all uh, a bit crude again, uh, but there we go. So we've got these fence posts, they're one higher, just to stop the villagers from being able to get underneath, but it stops other things jumping in. Not that I think anything would, because it's a fence post, but it's just a bit more added safety. Um, we've got our little gates so we can come in and out, uh, so that gives us access. So all this is going to be up here for a little bit. So they get funneled in all the way through here, and then they end up in here. So this is where they're all going to be. I just need to put their trading stations in here. And what I'm probably going to have to do is take the floor out and double carpet it like we did in the other trading hall just to stop them or thinking that they can come round and access any of the other workstations. Um, but also what we need to do is add in, I've been growing some pumpkins and there's my little makeshift pumpkin farm there. So that's just growing us some pumpkins to make these jack-o'-lanterns. And they're going to go in here just to add some extra light for now. And we need two more and that, that will be done. And then we can then, uh, we're going to put some chests in here. So I have to turn these into stair blocks up here. It'd be probably better if I show you from the other side. Uh, what else do we need to do? We need to put a gate in here, don't we? So we'll do that now, just so I know it's happening. And then we need to put in also, while I'm here, we take that out like that. And then we follow, nope, I keep doing that, putting the gates in instead of the posts. Put that in like there, and what we'll do is we'll put a gate in there. So we can get in and out, but the villagers won't be able to, and then we can do that, and they're all the way through. 
So yeah, the way this works is the same as before. Uh, you open the gate at the back, they're then pathfind to the trading station to the front and then we can shut the gate and they'll be locked in. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's nine, which is it's good. It's a good start. It's morning and we've got all this set up and as you may see, these aren't stone cutters, they are grindstones. I had a little change of plan because this is a blacksmith's and I didn't really want stone cutters in here, it's just kind of like this is the space we could put it in. I want grindstones in here so we can sell the iron because these de these guys definitely trade iron. So we can sell all our iron to get our uh, emeralds off these guys and what we do is in the next couple of episodes we will build a stonemason's house or hut and we'll put our stonemasons in it and that will probably be over here on the other side of the arch or over here or up here so <laughs> three choices but anyway back on with today's uh episode and what we're going to do we're going to get these villagers to come out and walk their way in so we've got one guy coming out come on come on don't be scared don't be shy it's quite far for him to pathfind though how about if i open that and I open one of these. Now let's see if he can pathfind this far to get to his trading station. Looks like he can. Which would make it easier for the others. All I have to do is open up one of the gates. Okay, let's shut the door behind you. A bit rude. And he's in. That's cool. So I'm afraid we come to the end of the episode. I uh, hope you really enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the time lapse. And like I say, if you want to catch that time lapse in full, then hit that sub button and you'll be notified of when that comes out to release. But it'll be shortly after this one. I have got really big plans for next episode. We're going to do something that I did with my old pal for Zeddy. In our Skyblock world, we're going to be killing the weather, but trying to get some wither roses. I've set him a challenge. He had a go at his last episode on the new series that he's doing um, and he's going to have another go because I challenged him to see who could get the most, most Wither Roses. So yeah, let's see how we get on. If you want to see how many he got, then check out his episodes and go check his channel out. I will leave a link in the description. He's doing a really good series over on the Hexacon uh, server. So check him out and like I said, I will leave a link to his channel in the description below. So go check him out and like I say, next episode... We start the challenge. Let's see how many Wither Roses we can get. Anyway, ciao for now.